I think it's important to do educational comics specifically about financial literacy because it's the kind of thing that kids don't really have much interest in. Teaching kids about money means engaging with them on their level. At Visa, we feel that public-private partnerships are one of the best roads towards financial literacy. The first project that Visa did with Marvel was a huge success for them. They had millions of copies distributed. That's when we decided to do the Guardians of the Galaxy story. A financial literacy comic book came about because we wanted to continue our approach of making educational materials that were fun and innovative. A partnership with Marvel seemed like a natural winning combination to put together our financial literacy expertise and their iconic characters. The teaching points that Visa wanted to get into the comic, there were two main ones, saving up for an emergency, and also they wanted to teach kids how to save up for the things that they need. So we came up with a story that was based on Guardians of the Galaxy, Rocket and Groot are the stars of the comic. It's called Rocket's Powerful Plan, and he's the one that's saving money. He's the mastermind behind all of it, and Groot is sort of the irresponsible side to show what not to do, and they're basically intergalactic exterminators, and Rocket is using the money that they make from that to save up for a piece of Stark tech. They end up crash landing into Earth, and a lot of that money has to be spent on ship repairs. So it turns out that Rocket's emergency funds come in really handy. And along the way, we learn some lessons. The step-by-step -step process for how we put this together is first we speak with Visa to figure out what they want in the story. From there, we hire a writer who turns in a synopsis. Once that's approved, the writer will do a full script with instructions to the artist. Once that is approved, we go to our penciler and he'll put together thumbnail layouts of every page. Once those get approved, we go to an inker. We take it from the ink stage, we send the scans to a colorist. From color stage, we go to uh, lettering. It's all proofread, put together, and then we get it ready to go to print. We wanted to not just hand a comic book resource to people and uh, leave them out there. We didn't want to just be a little subtle with this. We wanted to be able to put real learning materials in people's hands. So we created the Superhero Saving Smash and some games that are actually, you know, as part of the comic. The uh, distribution for this was to put it out in eight different languages. So after we finished it in English, we had to get it translated to seven other languages. That initial launch was really successful for Visa, so much so that they ordered eight more languages. So this thing's coming out in 16 languages. The response we've gotten not only from parents and educators, but also from kids is absolutely spectacular. Comic books are a great way to get kids' attention. If you can present something in a story, a kid will actually read it from cover to cover and they'll, they'll understand the message, but they will also have been entertained at the same time. And, and I think that's the value that we bring to the financial literacy program. It's important to start early and to continue often if we actually want to end up with adults who have good money management skills.